Hello YouTube, Joe here. So, got some new parts in and I've begun the process now of trying to figure out how I'm going to put this panel together. Um, uh, I've gotten some input from my friend Eric who uh, I mentioned in some previous videos talking about how we're going to go about doing it. And so I figured uh, we'll show you what uh, what I'm actually doing here. So let's, let's check it out. It's actually on the floor. So here we go. <laughs> Whoop and down. Okay, so laid everything out here um, these of course are not what's going to be used for the actual setup this is just kind of placeholder so I could look through how the flow is gonna go and you may see um, there's like PID 1 XLR 1 switches stuff like that I went ahead this box is so big that I'll be able to fit a second one in there should I want to have a second um, power supply there and so that's why we've got three you know outlets on the side one will be for you know pumps and then the other two would be for in theory the two uh, power elements but like I said this is just for planning purposes I'm only actually going to install enough to do our one um, what is it our one element recirculation two vessel system right now so this whole second section in here is pretty much gone oh yeah that's a big old uh, ruler for scale. The box is 17 inches tall and that's uh, the uh, the metal box is actually inside that cardboard box there. Uh, so heat sink on the top I just put it there again for visual just to kind of plan how I think I'd want to do it. And so yeah I've been down here rearranging these things for mm, a day or two. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so yeah here's here is what I'm thinking currently. So just so you've got some reference that's the the PID that's the controller. That's going to be the hookup that goes to the XLR cable, which is there, which will attach to the probes, which I've already installed in the kettles. Um, so down here, we're going to have uh, the two power supplies. We'll have the 240 for the heating elements and the PIDs and stuff like that, and then 120 for the pumps. And what we'll do is basically this will be the master switch for the whole shebang. Um, pop that guy on. It'll power up, of course, everything. And what it would, essentially, um, if you don't look at those two there, you know, that's right there. That is what we're, what I'm probably going to end up installing here. So power it up. It'll power up the PID here. The XLR will hook up here and then have that uh, cable going to the temperature probe. Uh, and this switch, this will be a switch, not an outlet, of course. <laughs> this will be a switch for the power to actually be sent to the... Um, uh, to the heating element and then this will be the switch that will actually s allow the power to go to the uh, pump so a couple you know down here these will be like the main so that way you know nothing will operate um, unless these are on and then these will actually allow power to be shot out to the various components um, so PID sunk there in the center like so of course inside the box um, so yeah, yeah, this is this is kind of what I've been doing. Nikki thought this would be a, a cool kind of look into what uh, this this madness of trying to figure it out. Like I said, I've rearranged it. I've rearranged it this way. I've had it. Um, gosh, I've had it all kinds of different ways, and I've I've been rearranging these uh, these you know face panels. Just again, the face panels are not for what uh, they're actually going to be, of course, installed in there. Just to give me kind of some spacing and to look at how I think I'd want the flow. And where I thought the flow could be cool would be 240 on this side, 120 on this side. The bottom two here would be your big, big outlets uh, for the 240. And then the 120 would be up top since it's such a smaller cable. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm currently thinking. I got to run this by Eric, of course, to see if this is even possible. So, so yeah, so that's where we're at at the moment. Just trying to figure this out. Little tricky, yeah, because you know you wanna you wanna plan for stuff, and that was kind of the uh, the logic was, I'm not gonna have, um, whoop, I'm a little sideways here. I'm not gonna have the second setup, of course. I may never get it, but the box was so big, we thought, well, why don't we just go ahead and plan for it, and then if I ever want to add on to it, it's a very simple modification to the box. Um, and then just installing a couple components and uh, just a little bit of rewiring and you're and it's up and running so if you got it use it right so yeah just trying to maximize that and um, 
you know, kind of, um, I don't know, plan well for the future, knowing full well that we're not going to install the second PID. We're not going to install the second lines of switches and outlets and stuff, unless I want to go there. So, yep, that's where I'm at. So, cheers, YouTube. I'm running out of beer. I haven't wanted to brew because I'm saving it for the, uh, the uh, system, <laughs> but so having some Sam Adams. Uh, it's one of my go-tos, you know. Alrighty. Thanks for watching YouTube. If you've got any questions, comments, leave them down below in the comments section. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, please do. And uh, yeah, uh, if you've done any builds or anything like that, I'd love to get uh, your feedback on it and see you know what you're thinking. So until further ado, as I say, cheers, <laughs> 17. So I just finished recording that video and I've already made a change to the layout. So check it out. So you may notice very similar, of course, but I thought if we move the XLR cables down there, when I attach them in, they won't be hanging right in front of my PIDs. Yeah? Yeah? I think that makes sense. Everything else kind of the same, you know? Like, well, that makes more sense because then, yeah, the cables won't be in your way when we block in your readout on the sensor. Or not on the sensor, I'm sorry, on the controller. So it's like, I gotta, I already gotta do an update video. See, it hasn't, it hasn't even been five minutes and I've already updated it. So, <laughs> okay, again, now I'm out. Okay, cheers, later. <laughs>